online, giving you guys advice, and that we can achieve that lifestyle of freedom that we all want and deserve. So if you like things like that, guys, go down and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing I post every other day. With that being said, let us jump into the content. Okay, so number one, I'm just on my YouTube page here, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video if you really think it's good, blah, 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 whatever. Let's go over to Instagram really quick because... Actually, I'm logging on my Instagram, my personal Instagram account. I might make this private at some point. I don't post on it right now. I haven't posted on it in a while. I'm making a new Instagram extremely soon, so stay tuned for that if I haven't already by the time I posted this video. But that's not the point of this video. I'm talking to you guys about how you can actually do this, and I've actually built up a fitness Instagram account that I also don't talk about. I also don't post on that right now, but that is what I currently, you know, I kind of have some experience when it comes to Instagram and stuff. So I want to give you guys my insight, my advice, and how you guys can actually do this for free because you don't have to pay anything if you don't want to. Uh, obviously you can, and there's bots and stuff, and I'm not talking about that. This video is not about that. It's for the person who does not have that money to start up and who wants to do this for free. All right, so there's two ways you can go about starting up. You gotta decide. Um, do you want them to have a personal account, more of a personal brand, uh, something that I would do, or do you want to have like a niche or uh, like a category kind of towards your content, maybe like a certain, build up a big Instagram page, let's say, it's cars, it's all about cars, or it's all about travel, right? Maybe you wanna have a travel page, like where you just post, you know, travel pictures, whether it's your own, you have people send it to you, whatever you wanna do, right? So you gotta decide that right away. And once you do, awesome, now you have your first step down, okay? You decided what you, you know, what kind of page you want to grow. And the next step, guys, is gonna be picking a product that you can actually sell with affiliate marketing, right? So how do you do that? There's many different products that you can sell um, when it comes to a lot of this stuff, but the best place to start, especially for beginners, guys, is going to be ClickBank. So I'm kind of logged in here into my bat, into the marketplace. And so let's see if we can find a cool category. So I was talking about travel. Let's go to travel. So you go to a travel, the travel category here on ClickBank and you guys can do your research. I've talked about videos on how to pick the best products here in the past if you want to check them out on my channel. But simply, let's go through. Let's see. Um, let's see, get free flights with travel hacking, high converting unique offer, whatever. Maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that's your offer, right? So maybe that's your offer. You have this free flight offer. And so you build a travel page all around travel and cool pictures and stuff. And then in your in your bio, you can have a link, your affiliate link to this page. You have a you shorten it with like a bit.ly link. You can look up how to shorten URLs, right? And you, ha and you have a link to this page. And now you're selling, you know, free people, how people selling an offer where people can earn free flights. And you're going to make $45 per sale when someone buys, right? So that's awesome. The great thing is that is awesome because all you got to do is put a link in your bio and then maybe tell people to check out your bio if they want free flights in your post or maybe you have a swipe up story. So now here's what we're going to talk about here next. You can either have swipe up stories, which I believe last I've checked, you have to have about 10,000 followers to get that swipe up, swipe up story enabled. Um, so we're not going to give that away just to anyone. So if you don't have that, if you don't have that luxury, right, or let's say you're starting a completely new, you know, account, what you want to do guys is this is my third step here is going to be going and, and creating content. So you found your offer, you determine your page, right? Either a personal or a niche page, right? You found your offer on ClickBank, for example, here. And guys, as you guys grow, as you get into this stuff, you can look up more things and things will kind of just fall into your into your lap and, and, and when it comes to offers and stuff. And people even will reach out to you as you grow. But now the third guys, third thing is, is getting those people, getting that traffic to your offers because you're not going to be able to sell things for free, make money if you don't have traffic. So how do you get that traffic? Well, completely for free, guys. Let's say you're making, you're going through Instagram, you're posting. What I recommend is posting every single day, if not more. If it's your own page, if it's a personal page, right? If it's you, your face, like in the pictures, for example, right? Or a lot of pictures. I recommend keeping it more personal. Uh, you're going to have a much higher engagement rate if it's a personal page because people are going to connect with you. I recommend doing tons and tons of stories so that now what's going to happen is as you grow, as you continue to post, you, people are going to have that connection with you because they're going to they're going to feel like they're with you when you're making those stories. Tons of stories. Just go through your day. It doesn't matter what if your day is boring. If you think it's boring, guys, trust me, people want that entertainment. They want to see what you're doing. So do that. Go through your day. Do load your stories up load them up guys beyond belief make it so that people there's so many that they can't even get through okay make it make them like insane and then when it comes to maybe you have a, a, a travel page right that travel page what you can really do guys is you can actually um repost people's other people's content on pages like that i would recommend you can still do this on your own page but you can repost other people's content on your page on your travel page and that's how you're gonna get a lot of traction very fast because you can take the is going viral on other on other pages and put it on your page as long as you give them credit, right? You give them credit, 
and your page is going to grow as, as grow as well. And then you can kind of create your own content as you start to get more and more traction. But that's a great way, guys, is by posting or reposting other people's content, you know, to get more and more traction. So now what you want, guys, is once you're at that level, right, where you're starting to get traffic, you're making more posts every day, right? How do you really monetize and make this into like an actual business? Because having a page like this can be like a couple sales here and there, you know, throughout the month, but it's nothing sustainable, right? So how do you make it sustainable? And that's how we're really going to talk about next here is how to make that sustainable. When it comes to sustainability, guys, you're going to want to capture emails, capture leads, okay? And so what I use, guys, is GetResponse right here. Um, and GetResponse is awesome because you're actually, guys, if you check the link down below, you get a 30-day free trial, which is awesome. So you can actually check it out and see how it works for you before you have to pay anything. And I don't recommend paying for it unless you actually like it, guys. So completely free if you want to get that down below. But GetResponse is going to have the ability to capture emails. So now when you have people come to your, your link, right? Let's say the link is in your bio, right? You're selling that offer in your bio. Maybe you have a recommendation in your bio, you know, free flights check here, right? I'm sure about these notifications. Free flights check here, whatever it is, whatever, you know, the thing is that you're trying to sell, okay? And what they do is they go from there, hey, the next page says, hey, you can actually create this through GetResponse. You can create landing pages. I have videos on that on my channel as well, if you're interested. You can create a landing page on GetResponse. It's kind of similar to one that you're seeing on the left here. Uh, it was just showing up for a second. And you can have someone enter their email. If you want your free flight offer, or you want to you know, get the free flight, that was the offer we are talking about before. If you want that free flight, enter your email here and we'll send it to you. We'll send you over to get that, right? Boom, just like that, now you have their email and you can send them emails following up with other travel related offers or other offers related to whatever your, you know, your whole thing's about, right? Forever until they unsubscribe, guys. So you have that email forever. And the power of this is insane because this is how you create a long-term sustainable business because early on, guys, you're gonna be getting, if your page is not growing that fast, it's going to be tough. You're going to be, you know, getting some traffic, but it's not going to be doing too much. You're not going to be making too many sales, whatever, right? But now when you start getting more and more emails, you can start, you know, sending out and you know, engaging with your people, with engaging and, you know, and sending out more, you know, information to people who follow your page or people who are, are interested in your page, right? So you can send them back to your content to help boost your content, which is awesome. Algorithms love that. And at the same time, you can always send them messages about products, new things that come up. If you guys come up with your own product, if you have a new product, guys, you know, awesome stuff like that, you can always go out and send them things so that you always have them as a potential buyer and the lifetime value of that customer, right? Like I was showing before, guys, back on ClickBank, for this offer, the free flights offer, you know, if one sale is 45, 68, right? So you would have lifetime value of one customer, right? 40, 45, 68, if you just send them directly to the product, right? But now you have their email. Maybe that lifetime value goes 6, 50, 60, 70 bucks because that person's chances are is going to buy from you again and again later on down the line, you know, down their lifetime, down your lifetime because you're engaging with them and you have offers to put in front of them forever because you have their email. So that is a super, super awesome way, guys, that you want to go out and do that. And for those who are interested, guys, it's GetResponse. It's the software that I use myself to you know, email market. And once you guys, the awesome thing about this is that you can create emails today. Go on GetResponse, make 10 emails, right? And have them set up in a sequence or an autoresponder. I talk about this on my channel as well. If you want to check that out, guys, look down on other videos, okay? You make an autoresponder where they can, you set the emails up today. You write them, everything. You put the link to another product in there, blah, blah, blah. Boom, done. And set what days you want them to be sent out. So if someone joins your list, someone enters their email today. On day three, maybe you have an email saying, you know, here's this, this, here's the same product that you just had. Hey, check this out. If you didn't buy it yet, guys, you know, it's going to end soon, whatever, right? Maybe day six, you send another one and you can have this set out as many days as you want, right? So you can just make it and set it. And what happens is now as you get email subscribers, right? Onto your email list from your Instagram content that you're creating, okay? What you can then do is just once they're in, they're in, they're automatically going to get sent those emails. So those emails are selling for you for literally ever, forever, as long as you continue to drive traffic and get people to that page. Now, the thing is here, guys, is that the problem that you're going to have is you're going to struggle on Instagram to create content, especially if you're new. If you are new, completely new, trying to grow an account, you're going to struggle to you know come up with content and, and create content that's going to go viral. So what I recommend, guys, initially is what I would say is start with a niche page, right? Start with something like maybe a travel page, start with something, a fitness page, something like that, where you can repost content. Or if it's your own personal page, maybe you start off by reposting content. Maybe you can delete that content later on as you start to gain traction. But as you gain traction, guys, put yourself, you know, put your own content on it, spin it your way, now write it yourself so that people can start to interact with you. And, and make sure you guys are always interacting. Always go out and comment on other people's posts. You know, hashtags, guys, use up all the hashtags you have. Whether it's in a comment, let's say you make a post and the first comment is you using like 30 hashtags, whatever the limit is, I think it's 30 from what I can remember. 
or you know use hashtags in your posts and strategic hashtags don't use all the hashtags that are like super super high volume for example guys don't use hashtag travel you, there's going to be so many people that probably use that try for other things like travel for free like i don't know weird hashtags like that other hashtags that people that you can have a higher chance of ranking higher in them so when people just go to discover the instagram discover there's that ability for them to you know your your post to actually show up at the top of the discover hashtags so you can gain more and more followers people discovering you you know more and more so that's kind of a tip that i have guys when it came to growing my own fitness account um using a ton of hashtags all the time but not all you using a, a spread you know you can use those you know insanely high volume hashtags but at the same time also using those middle range and even those low volume hashtags this way you can rank at the top and people can discover you you know more they're more likely to discover you and then go from there to you know actually follow you and you know, and engage with your content guys that's the name of the game engaging with their content and following you is the name of the game they're more likely as you grow as you suggest certain offers they're more likely to actually go through and buy those offers subscribe to email list and become a customer and a lifetime customer or you know from you when it comes to affiliate marketing hopefully like a video that helped you guys out if it did guys go down and like this video because it helps me out so much it's super super helpful if you guys go down and like this video subscribe to the channel guys if you want more videos just like this and like always my top five tips for online entrepreneurship success are linked as the first link in the description down below guys i'll show you right here here it is it's that plus a free bonus i give you a free bonus guys and i go on to even after that i go on to tell you my number one recommendation for you right now so if that is of interest to you guys check it out completely for free and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace